can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. 65, um, the fourth question in the second set of the question in chapter 5. Uh, so the 50 pounds mushing machine has a center of gravity at G. Determine the vertical reaction at the wheels C and B and the smooth contact point at A. So that means there are three normal forces shown in the free body diagram, B, C, and A. And there is a force over here. So we can use at the moment the sum of the, uh, sum of the forces in the Z direction because there are th uh, one, two, three unknowns. Well, C and B, we can simplify them into one because you know this machine is uh, perfectly symmetrical and uniformly massed in its component uh, and symmetrical from the uh, x axis therefore c and b should be the same right so there are two unknowns uh, specifically right um so and uh then we'll have to use moments right because some of the forces doesn't really work so we move on to moments some of the moments uh, about the of an axis, right? So if you use the axis, sure, we'll get rid of the two forces. Um, but since these two are, are you know, s similar to each other, it would just give you zero and doesn't find out anything. So it's better for us to use the y axis, right? Get rid of the c and b, and um, and here we have two forces um, with one unknown with one known, so that should you know, give you the answer. So uh, some, oops. We go. Uh, sum of the moment of the y-axis. Right. Um, well, that should give you zero. Right. Uh, all of that. Well, that should gives you um, so na right uh, times the 1.5 plus two feet. Right. Times the 1.5 plus two feet. That's 3.5 uh, feet over here. 3.5. Right, and um, since you know, if we're looking at it over here with our eyeballs, right, uh, from the y-axis, then this is generating a, you know, a circle around the y-axis uh, rotation, but it's going into the clockwise direction. Therefore, it is uh, negative. Right, it's negative. And looking at the g over here, sorry, I should label here. G. A G over here is generating a sort of rotation that is in the counterclockwise direction, and we set that as positive. And the reason we do that because you know we measure angles from the axis, from the positive x-axis to measure an angle, we're going, we're going the counterclockwise, right? That's why we say counterclockwise is the positive uh, direction. So G is 50 pounds uh, times well, what's over here, right? Over here, so between. The force to the axis that is two feet, right? So fifty times two feet, and all of these together should uh, well. Eh, this is a number. You move this to the right, and that will become positive. So in a you know, uh, this will gives you a hundred, right? A hundred uh, foot pounds. So a hundred divided by three point five, that should give you. Um, that should give you 28.57, right? Or 28.6 foot pounds, right? And write it up here, uh, you know, 28.6 foot pounds. Sorry for my handwriting. And, um, and then, well, since we have this force right over here, right, the g-force, and now we know the uh, na, right, normal force at a, and these two can be summarized as one. Well, with one equation with one unknowns, we can we're able to find that one unknown, right? We can just set you know c and b as two c or two b, right, because they equal to each other. Um, so now we can use the um, sum of the forces in the uh, z direction going upwards is positive, right? So the force in the z direction equal to zero, right? In that case, um, going down is negative, going po top is positive, so Na is positive, uh, minus the, uh, the force at G. So, 
that would be 50 pounds. So I just got a message. And um, from my English group. Anyway, this person have not done anything for the presentation yet. Um, anyway, you know what I'm talking about if you're watching this video. And um, here's another one. At so, you know, the rest of it was just 2C and 2B because you know, normal of C equals uh, normal at B. Right? All of this equal to zero. And, you know, 50 pounds, move it to the other side, move it here, it becomes positive, minus the NA. Oops, sorry. Minus the NA. That should give you 50 minus NA, 50 minus 28. That should give you 22C equals 21.4. Three and C, well, in that case, should give you 10.7, right? And since C equals D, then NA is uh, NB is 10.7 uh, foot pounds, and C should also be 10.7 um, foot pounds. Uh, probably the simplest question I've done so far in chapter five, second set. Yeah, relatively easy one. Hopefully, this would be a helpful video. Um, I'll see you in my future, future videos. Right. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.